Good morning. This is Wissam Dakash running the webinar for the Artificial Intelligence held for schools. I believe that you will be enjoying this webinar since we will be talking uh, deeply on how to integrate AI in the uh, curriculum for uh, uh, students at schools. So uh, before starting my presentation, I'd like to uh, focus on a major point since we are here all uh, teachers, ICT teachers uh, specifically and academic directors and maybe schools owner. So uh, the major question that we have to ask ourselves is like, what do we want from our students to be regarding AI uh, in the near future? Uh, we want them to be uh, like uh, a users exploring and working on ready-made applications uh, for AI like ChatGPT or other uh, applications, or we want them to understand uh, in a clear way uh, how we reach this level of artificial intelligence, what are the prerequisites, and uh, uh, having some hands-on and practice on uh, applications to create and to build small application uh, at their level, uh, age level, in order to understand more and more this deep relation uh, between uh, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning and coding, maybe robotics and other topics. So uh, once we uh, answer this question, uh, I believe that uh, this webinar will be very helpful for you in order to have the needed background for uh, what you have to uh, transmit to your students and uh, your uh, your uh, teachers uh, at the school and even for parents uh, uh, even then when they ask you about uh, because i'm a teacher and uh, many parents come and uh, tell me uh, my 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 kid, my son uh, would like to do artificial intelligence so we believe that artificial intelligence it's not uh, it's not a, uh, a, a, a like a uh, uh, it's it's the result of of many many skills that we build uh, dur during the year uh, slowly slowly so uh, uh, basically i will start with my with my presentation uh, to to uh, uh, to say that uh, the human intelligence is the skeleton of the artificial intelligence so uh, uh, when when engineers and scientists uh, decided to work on what we call the uh, artificial intelligence. They uh, 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 they took the essential from the human intelligence, and by human intelligence, I mean that how to de to develop this human intelligence when we were baby, uh, when a newborn is here, uh, how we 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 teach him that this is a, a cup of water or uh, this is like a uh, a, a, a USB and and so on. So uh, we we start by 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 this by this logic of uh, training uh, uh, for students and this training or for kids, let's say, and this training starts from from home and then continue to schools and uh, slowly slowly university and uh, uh, when we start working. So we always train ourselves for tasks that we have to do. So training is the foundation of intelligence uh, uh, development. And like you, like, like you see in this uh, slide number four, uh, 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 when, we, when we were kids, so uh, we, we, train, uh, we were trained to know that this is the left hand, this is the right hand, and so on. We show colors, we show uh, shapes, uh, we... Uh, uh, objects around us and slowly slowly kids babies start to understand that or to re recognize that this is strawberry this is a cat this is a cup and so on so the 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 basic of artificial intelligence or in general our, our intelligence is uh, uh, the training and the repetition and this is how we will be leading to what we call the artificial intelligence uh, if we go to the uh, uh, human intelligence, we all know that we have like five senses. 
Uh, so uh, we train our brain to to uh, to recognize by smelling, by seeing, by touching, by 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 by, by hearing uh, sounds and by tasting even. And usually, uh, those senses will will connect us to our uh, 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 environment. So uh, imagine that there is a human being without all those senses, or some of those senses are missing. So we can say that there is a handicap somewhere, so we cannot see or we cannot hear and so on. So humans have five senses and uh, the definition of artificial intelligence, as simple, as simple, it's making the machine act like a human. This is the basic definition of what we call the artificial intelligence. And by, by, uh, by saying this, we, we can uh, uh, start thinking about what we call the training uh, for a uh, robot or for a machine. And we know that machines like uh, uh, robots, like uh, computers, like uh, uh, mobiles, any kind of machine in a factory, it has many, many uh, sensors. It can be like uh, for more than uh, 30 sensors, uh, sensors. And this is the main difference between the human and a, a robot uh, to lead for what we call the artificial intelligence. So a robot can sense more, let's say, uh, 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 to detect more variables uh, uh, in its environment. So by developing the artificial intelligence, it's very simple. We want to use or we are obliged to manipulate uh, 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 sensors that are around us uh, in terms of uh, factories, hospitals, at schools, at home, everywhere where there is intelligent machines. It means like we have intelligence uh, and uh, we can lead to uh, the artificial intelligence. Uh, if we start by phase one in developing the uh, artificial intelligence, we can say that by installing simple uh, uh, sensors on, on like the uh, sl uh, sliding door for uh, uh, or a barrier gate or a lift. So when we install uh, sensors there, so sensors can detect any motion and then th they can open the door automatically. And here we can say that this basic phase is a, it's a kind of artificial intelligence since this uh, uh, object, which is the door or the barrier gate, is acting like a human uh, 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 the moment they see any or detect any object or any, uh, any uh, movement, so they can, they can uh, go, go further. Phase two, here we can talk about a new generation of uh, phones, mobile phones, and even for uh, what we call the uh, Alexa or uh, uh, the, the, the uh, system that we install at home, uh, and, and uh, uh, they can uh, react and interact with us by simply uh, recognizing the, the voice. So uh, on our mobile phone, if we uh, have an iPhone, and we pronounce by uh, "Hey Siri," so the uh, the phone can understand, and then he he can uh, interact uh, uh, in a uh, smart way. Uh, same same for uh, uh, Alexa. Uh, we can ask uh, for the weather. We can ask for a uh, uh, to play a, a, a music or, or to uh, to uh, record a uh, meeting or a, an appointment. So those machines are acting like humans uh, uh, in a way. Uh, phase three, uh, we, we, we move to another step, which is uh, the face detection, the face recognition, and even for the Google map where uh, uh, objects or cars can be uh, tracked. Uh, as simple so and here uh, we have to remember always that uh, artificial intelligence is in a 
continuous development in parallel with the hardware. I mean by that, if we take a mobile phone like 20 years back and we try to uh, interact with this uh, mobile phone uh, by working with, with its camera and with the software, it was like impossible at that date to have what we call the face recognition or uh, to install Google Map and so on. So there is functionalities that are developed uh, in parallel with the hardware, with the uh, software, and with the know-how of uh, engineers working with this uh, with this phase. And we can go for phase four, which uh, of artificial intelligence, which is like uh, uh, knowing the behavior of customers and clients. So we all know that on Netflix or any uh, any uh, TV platform, if we like select a type of movie later on we will have on 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 our mobile or on our uh, netflix page or uh, uh, tv channel all categories of movies related to uh, uh, this kind of uh, uh, of movie that we watched or when we go to a uh, like uh, to, for for a shop to buy a uh, any kind of product uh, uh, and so here there is a temptation that we will be having on our, uh, let's say, Instagram, Facebook or social medias, uh, messages and uh, announcement and advertisement regarding this kind of uh, of uh, object or product that we, we, we bought. So uh, here we can say that those machines that we are using, they started to know the behavior of the user and they can in a way uh, uh, direct or uh, 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 display all the advertisement uh, uh, related to uh, uh, this uh, uh, this object or this category of products and uh, let's say phase 5 we we can uh, we can say that uh, the, the the internet or, or the big data uh, where uh, we are collecting and collecting and collecting information. But by that time, uh, 25 years back from now, this data collected was stored, but it was not treated in an intelligent way in order to, to, to create or to have uh, the AI solution. But slowly, slowly, we reach uh, this point where all data stored on internet uh, is analyzed, is classified in order uh, to uh, explore or to offer to users like more uh, functionalities in, in terms of uh, AI services. And phase six, we go for what we call the deep learning revolution from 2010 till now. So, uh, 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 and this uh, led to what we call the AI or the artificial intelligence uh, boom, where we have to uh, to, to 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 develop uh, uh, computing or computers uh, with power uh, processors, uh, uh, big storage, and of course link to uh, 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 the big network in order to have. Uh, uh, all the data available and to treat it in a really complicated way. That's why that's why I said at the beginning of this presentation that it's really important you as teachers to know that uh, teaching AI, the real AI at school is almost impossible. Impossible because it's really difficult, it's really complicated and it's above the uh, uh, logic and the age of the students. That's why we have to, to, to respect their age and to find solutions, uh, simple solutions, simple applications. Uh, and uh, we already uh, uh, did this curriculum and this task in terms of uh, uh, functionality for, for different grades uh, uh, in order to make them understand easily uh, 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 this kind of uh, uh, AI and 
hopefully uh, uh, slowly slowly they they will have more information and more background about about it uh i'll give a, a, a few examples here so imagine we are in 1960 and i ask you what is the wi-fi of course it was unknown at that date so nobody knows what is wi-fi because it was not invented but in 2023 we all know that if we ask uh, students at school what is wi-fi hopefully they will give the the right definition of of wi-fi in 2023 when we ask students or adults uh, about what is iot i believe that there is a, a majority of people who don't know what is iot so uh, 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 it will come slowly slowly and in 2030 iot will be like wi-fi this year so everyone will know that iot means internet of things and internet of things it means that any single electronic device will be connected to the internet uh, like the fridge, the washing machine, the lift, the barrier gate, the camera at uh, uh, on the street to monitor traffic. Every single detail, uh, electronic component will be connected to internet and this will lead a traffic for, for data. Imagine you have a camera on the street that is capturing uh, the the activity of the cars and the uh, uh, people uh, running over uh, over the street so uh, 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 the moment we have an accident or there is a huge traffic this camera can analyze can analyze that there is a traffic and then it will send a message for the server that there is a traffic so we have to avoid this uh, this path and uh, uh, take another one even cars when they will be connected to internet and this is a very important like uh, example to give for students that even when we give when we give this example that uh, cars when uh, they are connected to internet any problem or any defection in a part of the car before uh, 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 going big will be will be monitored and will be registered and will be sent to the manufacturer and this will make the manufacturer avoid uh, the uh, production of this uh, this product or this item and they will install a new uh, technology or modify the structure in order not to keep the same error uh, uh, again and again so why I'm giving you this example of IoT simply to tell you that uh, to tell you that uh, IoT is one of the basic installment to to reach uh, artificial intelligence. And if students does not know uh, how to manipulate uh, sensors, I mean even simple sensors like the the ultrasonic sensor that is providing uh, data and data and data so we cannot understand uh, how to deal with ai or uh, uh, later on with machine learning even so that's why what i'm trying to say that nobody has the right to tell you that you have to teach ai by pressing a click or by, by, by pushing a button. It's a long process. It will start with the KGs, starting uh, by in, installing like uh, algorithm, simple coding program, uh, then later on in gr uh, grade one and grade two, some robotics uh, 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 activities, and then later uh, the microcontrollers, coding language in Scratch, in Python, and so on, how to manage database. And then we will be leading uh, uh, indirectly to what we call the artificial intelligence as uh, as simple. So uh, again, uh, uh, back to uh, IoT for a bet better word, because maybe students will be asking you, okay, great, 
I will have my washing machine, my fridge, my car, my lift, my TV, my air condition. Every every single component device uh, will be connected to internet, so I can control it and I can manage it. And students may ask you and tell you maybe that uh, uh, okay, great, but people will be more lazy by sitting on the sofa and then by uh, controlling all the components uh, by clicking on the uh, uh, on the, uh, uh, the telephone or the application. It's not the case because as we know that uh, uh, the United Nations uh, uh, settled what we call a sustainable development development goals, which are like 17 goals, and those goals, uh, uh, are like I, I will read some uh, no poverty, no hunger, uh, quality in education, uh, life underwater, uh, climate action, uh, life on land, and so on. So it's impossible to reach the sustainable development goals for the United Nations. And this is asked from government and from countries and from leaders. And awareness should be given starting at school in order to understand later on why IOT is a must. And to reach all those sustainable development goals, it's, it's a must that students uh, 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 install or understand that IOT is the unique path. So imagine we are living in a, uh, uh, in a country or uh, uh, our village or our uh, town, and we want to uh, 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 make economy on uh, uh, consuming uh, uh, water, all right? So how we can uh, use less water by irrigating public places uh, uh, and gardens and, uh, you know, without knowing the, 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 the needed quantity for water for the plants, not to put more waters. Same for electricity, same for traffic, same for pollution. So all those uh, 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 like uh, uh, data should be provided by sensors in order to analyze them and to take the right decision. And as you know that now in college, you have a uh, major called data science, where students will learn how by collecting all those data, they can make analysis to take uh, accordingly uh, the right the right uh, the, the right uh, conditions okay so here another example uh, and by the way i'll be sharing with you this powerpoint so you can you can work on it with your students so here we are talking about uh, iot connected to smart cities smart homes healthcare transportation smart manufacturing cars, agriculture, home appliances, wearable and energy engagement. So basically in all the uh, domains, IoT will be implemented in order to have this uh, 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 topic or uh, AI reachable by analyzing those collected data. And uh, uh, collecting data, it's... it's uh, it's, it's one of the uh, basic uh, uh, tasks for the uh, IoT to do in order to store them and later on in order to uh, uh, w work on them. So I will move to another part uh, from uh, my presentation to tell you that in 2017, I was at the Bet Show in London and while moving from uh, one stand to another, I reached uh, 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 I reached a uh, uh, what we call a stand, and there were a presentation there for uh, uh, a new uh, uh, like topic called machine learning. And we all know that in 2024 now, machine learning is something which is uh, uh, familiar with some of our students and with us as educators. So we can see that. Uh, uh, teachable machines uh, 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 are made with with uh, Google has a like uh, a a uh, free platform in order to 
to do uh, the what we call the uh, uh, training the machine to uh, uh, to to recognize or uh, to act uh, uh, in in artificial intelligence and uh, in 2016 excuse me not 17 and uh, uh, we have a a, a a platform called machine learning for kids .co .uk where uh, where the 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 uh, kids in grade three will start exploring how to uh, 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 teach the machine recognizing words, images, uh, gesture or movements. So this is how we start, and we cannot we cannot isolate machine learning from artificial intelligence. So the moment you will, uh, you will, uh, let's say, uh, 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 ask students to uh, create or to develop an artificial intelligence uh, uh, application, they will be obliged to uh, train the machine for this small application. And the moment they reach this uh, 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 training for the machine, the AI will will be automatically a result of this training, and it will be a small application made by students. We will be working on this website later on uh, during my presentation to to show you a simple uh, application made uh, uh, with with this website. So uh, after that, and by the end of this presentation, I'll be sending you. Uh, a uh, a demo a demo uh, lesson for ai recognizing words uh, in order to take uh, uh, or to have an idea about what we are proposing for next year even you are using our curriculum 01 or you are not using it and i believe that you have a mission uh, 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 in order to implement this ai to talk with your academic directors and uh, the decision makers at school in order to see if they are seeking for an AI solution, you will be convinced with the demo lesson that we are sending after this uh, uh, presentation. So uh, I, I believe that uh, 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 the uh, uh, machine learning for kids.co.uk will open this landing page. Then after uh, I'll be creating a new project uh, in case of uh, just one second. So I have my old projects here and then I click on a new project in order to uh, create a, a, a new new project. And once I, I uh, go for a new project, there is a different topics I can create my machine learning leading for AI, which is recognizing text, recognizing images, recognizing numbers, sounds, and predicting uh, predicting numbers. And once I select, let's say, uh, recogni recognizing, recognizing text, I'll be selecting the, the language, of course. And after that, I have three sections in order to uh, uh, to uh, reach uh, what we call the machine learning. So I have the train section, the learn and test, and the make section. Uh, uh, of course, I have to start with the train. So by clicking on, on the train, uh, uh, I, I'll, be, I'll be creating what we call a label. So imagine that you are working with, a, uh, uh, with an application, that uh, uh, will recognize and uh, if you are if you are sad or happy so i'll be creating a label uh, uh, for happy and a label for sad and i'll be adding i'll be adding like uh, 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 examples for for happy and examples for for sad and uh, let's move to practice because I, I showed you the, 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 the starting or the beginning of this application. Uh, so I'll be, uh, I'll be adding another part uh, uh, for that in order to uh, show you in practice how we can lead. And I remind you that 
I'll be sending you a PDF to show you a complete lesson that you can try starting from now with your students in order to assess and to evaluate the content and how we expose the uh, uh, data. Before moving to practice, I'd like to repeat that AI is not a goal to teach. You have many topics, you have many skills that you have to go through uh, for many levels, many years, many grades, and AI will be the result of all those topics. We cannot imagine that students can develop applications in AI without knowing how to deal with sensors, how to deal with algorithm and coding, how to deal with robotics, microcontrollers. So this is a complete package that we have to respect in order to reach uh, 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 the AI uh, 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 teaching or AI uh, skills. So uh, I'll be moving now to, uh, uh, to show you how I can prepare a lesson for machine learning to reach AI, and then we will continue. So as I said before, uh, uh, we are here uh, in the machine learning for uh, uh, for kids .co uk, I will click on get start. And since I don't want to go through a, uh, a creating account, I can try without registering. So I click on try now. I'll be creating a new project. The project name will be uh, AI KSA demo. Let's say the project type will be. Uh, will be recognizing text english and the storage will be uh, will be on your browser it's not on the cloud once i click on the create so i have uh, this project i click on uh, on the uh, title by itself and i'll have my three sections so i will start by by training uh, uh, my 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 uh, my machine learning system, and I will start by clicking on uh, the uh, label to create a label. So I'll go for happy, add, and another label, sad, and for uh, happy, I'll be uh, uh, adding some. Uh, of the uh, labels by example happy so as you can see here I've added uh, some examples for the label happy uh, clever smart awesome cute and sweet I can add more I can add uh, to upload the file and then for the sad, I will be adding uh, the the examples uh, terrible, sad, poor, rude. So it's like uh, unhappy, bad. stupid and and ugly okay so now i've added uh, six by eight it's okay fine no problem i will go back to my project i can i can uh, uh, come back here to add more uh, uh, more examples or even more labels it's okay so i've trained my my project uh, as a machine learning to recognize those words i will click on learn and test and then here, there is a pro internal process where the machine, the computer, will be trained for those uh, examples under each label uh, to be trained. So uh, train new machine learning model. So it will take like a few, uh, like one minute, let's say. So it's training. We cannot move from here. We have to wait. So as you can see here, uh, uh, there is a resume for uh, uh, the uh, for the training, and I can test my my project. 
you are you are a clever boy so it should be happy and the percentage of confidence in, is 94 you are a bad boy so it's sad with 87 uh, of percentage of confidence so here i did my 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 training i did my learn and test and then i will go to make my application or my ai application based on the machine learning uh, uh, process so i click on make and here i can go for scratch python or edu block so i will open my 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 scratch online it's not the offline it's not available offline it's the online so i click on on open the uh, scratch program and then you will have uh, a new category of of uh, of uh, label or of uh, blocks called uh, machine learning i will click on open scratch it will take a bit to open scratch online okay so as you can see it's the basic scratch that we have and we have a an additional category called ai ksa demo where i have the blocks for the ai the 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 purpose of the uh, chapter or the lesson i'll be sending you as a pdf to try it with your students is how to create the uh, scratch blocks in order to communicate with the sprite and then when i type a message the sprite will be happy or will be will be will be sad so I'll be I'll be starting by by creating uh, let's say uh, sorry excuse me by creating a a new sprite this sprite will be like a a, a face where I will click on uh, I believe uh, on sorry I will click and type let's say uh, happy all right i will change the color of course i will make it a little bit big and uh, my sprite which is happy i have to create another custom of it by clicking on the uh, the paint and by drawing let's say by writing sad by changing the color and here i can go for two uh, custom for the same uh, sprite which is uh, sprite number two and here i can delete my this sprite since i i don't want it uh, in my program and then i will proceed with the uh, uh, coding uh, coding blocks in order to create this dialogue. So uh, I, I will start my, my, my program uh, by uh, moving uh, the uh, when the green flag is clicked and I will force my, uh, my costume to be uh, as happy for, uh, uh, for uh, by default. And I, from the category sensing, I will tap uh, the block ask uh, to type a comment. Type a comment, please. And wait. So here the user will be obliged to, uh, to communicate with the... Uh, uh, with the uh, uh, sprite and then I will go for a, a, a forever loop and uh, I will add an if comment okay and from the operator 
I will move the uh, block to uh, make a condition and to say that from the AI uh, category to recognize the text that we are typing and we are obliged to recognize the text that is uh, uh, from the answer the user is, is, is feeding. So I go for the sensing and I move the answer inside the block text. Okay. And then I will compare it to uh, uh, the, uh, 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 the happy uh, label. And if it's happy, so I'll be moving to uh, uh, custom number one, which is happy, and I can duplicate all this. And if uh, 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 the block we are comparing is for sad, not for happy, I'll be moving to custom number, uh, number two. So this program, as simple as it is, it will it will show show me uh, how I can create a simple uh, uh, application where uh, uh, there is an interaction and there uh, a like an artificial intelligence guide somehow uh, for what we call the uh, uh, interactivity between the user and the computer. So uh, type a comment, please. You are ugly okay and then it should move to excuse me type a command you are ugly look here how sad it is you are clever and then we will switch to the happy face. You are uh, bad. How brave you are in the classroom. So I'm, I'm writing. So look, even for longer uh, uh, sentence, the computer is interacting with me and believe me if you will start maybe i i switch off my my camera excuse me so uh, believe me if you will start with those simple activity students will understand and they can assimilate how uh, uh, they can uh, operate with the uh, So I, 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 I repeat, even if you go for those simple uh, 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 applications on Scratch and later on with Python or with robotics, uh, the Embo 2, which is embedded with the AI and machine learning IoT, students will, will start assimilating and understanding that those small applications, if we make them bigger and bigger and bigger, they can be like real applications on like what we are working on on chat gpt or other ai application so i hope that with this uh, 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 webinar that i gave you a a clear idea about how to proceed in terms of teaching ai for students by giving them the background of uh, uh, this comparison between uh, uh, the, art the artificial intelligence and the human intelligence and that the artificial intelligence is based on what we call the training like we, 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 we are doing with the newborns so uh, while training and training and training the machine so we can reach the moment to have a, a small applications uh, that we are uh, uh, leading. I will be sending you later on a, uh, you will be receiving this document by email. So my WhatsApp will be on, on it. So if you have 
any question, please do not hesitate to contact me to ask for more. Thank you very much and uh, see you uh, very soon. Thank you.